Welcome back guys, Stutzman52 here. Okay, in this video, we have a Altel DS708 scanner. And what we're going to do in this video is there's a lot of people on the Altel side are having a little issue about how to upgrade their, their smart drive card, which is an 8 gigabyte right now. And in the past it was 4 gigabytes. But anyway, we're going to carry this card all the way up to a 32 gigabyte. So we're going to get a card and we're going to update this card. Now keep in mind that you have to have a subscription with them. You have to go to the website. And if you've already been updating your tool, you already know this. So you have to fill out your email address and your password to get your Altel ID. So then it knows and you'll put in your serial number of the tool and then you get locked into your tool and so you can get your updates. Alright, so let me show you the tool, and then we'll show you the card that comes with the tool, and then we'll show you the card that we're going to use to carry it up to a 32 gigabyte. Now, before we go there, uh, one of the things is you want to keep a backup of your, of your files. You know, you could have your files get corrupted, and you want to have some, a backup. Now, you can copy the files off of your original card, and you can carry that over to the you know, from the smart drive card over to a folder that's on your computer, and then you can take that and you can put it on a flash drive. Or you can just get your card, get your blank card, stick it in there, and we can update it, and we can make a backup of that. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have a backup by using the 8 gigabyte, using it as a backup, and then we'll just use the 32 gigabyte and keep that in there. Another advantage is uh, having this higher capacity if you've got some long test drives and you want to collect some data, save some files, then you can also do that. So you'll have plenty of room here, you know, on this uh, card because we have all this extra memory. So let me show you the uh, tool and then we'll go from there. And here's the scanner, as I've already mentioned. It's an Altel DS708. And you can see that you get all of this stuff. You get a case, you get all these connectors. Where most of these connectors, a lot of them for OBD1, which it does not work for that. So it's going to be for 96 and up. And it has 53 different manufacturers of cards in here. Okay, now let me show you the card that it comes with right now. So we're all on the same page. Hopefully you'll be able to read that. This is a SanDisk card. It's a, it's a Ultra. has a 40 megabytes per second transfer rate. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this card and we're going to be using this right here. So this is a SanDisk Ultra Plus, and it's a 32 gigabyte, has a transfer speed up to 80 megabytes per second, and this is what it looks like. So this is what we're going to use, okay? Also, the tool does come with a reader. If your computer does not have a reader, uh, Altel does provide a reader for that, but since my computer has a reader, I'm going to use the reader that's on my computer, okay? So let's get started. The first thing you'll have to do is install the full programs that's on the CD that Altel provides as they're shown right now. Now insert your card into the card reader from Altel or if you have a port on your computer sticking into your computer port. Now once you do that you may notice that you're going to be installing USB drivers for that. Just so go ahead and let it do that. But in my case, I've already done that. So what's going to happen with me is that I, uh, once I put it in, I'm going to be able to see that it's going to come up. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open it up. I can see right now this is the blank card with no files on, in there. Also, if it wants to format your uh, disk, you don't need to do that. So just say no. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to start up the DS708 uh, update program. You'll have your account. It'll already be defaulted. I'm entering the password right now for me. We're going to log in. And then you're going to get this screen here for an update screen. So then it's going to come up and you're going to notice that it's going to say authorization updated successfully. Clicking OK. And now it's, it wants to install the system program. So now you click on that. Click on install. And then you'll see that it's going to go ahead and install that. This won't take very long so we'll just let it go ahead and do that. You'll see on the left that there's a download uh, status, and over to your right, there's an update status. So once it does that, you're going to get a listing of all these cars. There's 53 different manufacturers. 
So uh, we'll just let it uh, populate the uh, window here. We'll scroll down. You can see uh, all of the different manufacturers that are in there. Quite a few of them. As I mentioned, there's 53 of them. And what I'm going to do in my case is I, we're going to install them all. Who knows? Maybe we might go to Europe or someday. Might have to live over there. Who knows? So we're going to select the uh, all check box. We're going to click the update uh, selected items. And at this point, it's going to sit there and it's going to start downloading these, um, these files. And then it will install it. This will take about probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll get back with you here in the next uh, screenshot here where we'll see them all updated. Okay, as you can see, we have them all installed there. So once uh, everything looks good for you to there, just click exit, get out of the program. Okay, now all of our files should be copied over to our little SanDisk card here. So let's go to the Windows Explorer. We can take a look at them. You can notice there is a folder and inside that folder we have a bunch of stuff. We got that, domestic, uh, so we have a lot of stuff here. And also we have this auto run executable file. So there you go guys. And now one other thing before we wrap this video up. Always very important to right mouse click. We want to safely eject this here. So let's take it get rid of him and we'll get this message that's safe to remove our hardware and now we can take it and we can put it in our scanner and now we can use that for uh, for our new uh, card okay this is going to wrap this video up and uh, one of the things here that I put an annotation in is that this works fine I've tried it on a couple of cars no problem uh, if it also work on a 16 gigabyte card also uh, one thing too, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Rick Affix. How you doing Rick? Hope you're doing well. I appreciate the shout out that you gave me on your channel. And also to Steve Robb. Um, he's gave a couple of shout outs, maybe even more than that uh, for my channel. So I want to give a shout out to you Steve. And there's a lot of other guys out there. And maybe I'll, what I'll have to do is just make a video and you know some of the videos, uh, channels out there that I like. But anyway, enough blabbering so you guys take care and we'll see you in the next video